A well-known local charity is estimated to have helped more than half a million people in need over the years. But tonight, Hosea Helps is looking for some help of his own. After nearly three decades, leaders say they are being forced out of their building. The night team's Mike Dunson is in Southwest Atlanta tonight with how the ordeal could hurt that group's work. Mike? Yes, Sharon, the CEO tells me if they don't get a new home, needy people won't get the help they need from this care center. We're definitely Even the night's drenching rain and lightning. We are in a, a catastrophe here. Couldn't keep Elizabeth Omalami from meeting up to tell me about the new trouble in the new year. We have to be out by the end of March. She believes a new owner of her rented building bought it to jump on the rising property prices in Atlanta's West End neighborhood. Boom. That was it. It was bought out right from under us. Her father, late civil rights pioneer Reverend Hosea Williams, started the charity 45 years ago, and she and her husband picked up the mantle. They just hosted this Christmas party for less fortunate families. They also do this yearly Thanksgiving dinner, back-to-school drives, an Easter program, job fairs, a Dr. King birthday event. CBS 46 teamed up with Hosea Helps to send water to Flint, and the charity does even more. They don't know we do case management. They don't know we do federal benefits analysis. They, they don't know about the clothing distribution and the, the food distribution every day. There is a worst case scenario if they don't find a new space. The total daycare center where people receive food, utility assistance, that would be cut because we don't have a space to serve them. The people will be evicted. They're providing a need and, you know, they're... They do good work. Neighbor Joy Britt, who does lighting for Atlanta's film industry, doesn't want to see the good works of Hosea Helps fade to black. Hoping that they can get another place and continue doing what they do. And Elizabeth Omalami does too. I want the man corporate leaders to raise $2 million so that we can either build from straight new or we can find a building that we can renovate to serve over 40,000 people. Here. I reached out to the mayor's office to see what they might be able to do, although his office is closed for the holiday. And if you might want to help Hosea Helps, go to our website, cbs46.com, click on web links, and we'll link you to their site. We're live in Southwest Atlanta, Mike Dunstan, CBS 46 News, 19.